And a health alert. According to the CDC, nearly 30 million Americans suffer from severe chronic sinus infections, causing roughly 50 million office visits because of chronic sinus problems. Instead of traditional sinus surgery, doctors at the Ogden Clinic say there's an easier, less invasive fix. And our cameras were invited into the recording uh, in the surgery room for the whole thing. Oh, very excited because it's been so miserable. This Ogden woman who doesn't want her face shown is about to breathe a lot easier after a minimally invasive sinus procedure done right in the doctor's office. She's totally awake, yeah. So guys, we're just looking at the anatomy of the sinuses. We spent some time numbing the area. Ear, nose, and throat specialist Dr. Nadine Begazi at the Ogden Clinic says sinuplasty has been around for a while, but only recently has it gained in popularity. He uses a balloon to open up the sinus pathways. So now what we're going to do is find her frontal sinus tract. So I'm going to dilate up the tract. There's the balloon passing in and go ahead and inflate for five seconds. Nancy Hoskins underwent the same non-invasive procedure last week. Well, I've had chronic allergies all my life. And that would lead to sinus infections. Nancy had the traditional sinus surgery 10 years ago. It was definitely worth it, but it's... Unpleasant. When Nancy's sinus infections returned years later, she learned about the minimally invasive procedure. There was a brochure and I read it and I thought, wow, <laughs> this is incredible. The sinuses are obstructed in most patients where the drainage tract is narrowed. So we take a balloon, we enter the pathway that should be open, we dilate it up to about four to five times the size. So it goes from being obstructed to open about four to five millimeters. And it doesn't look like much, but a few millimeters makes a huge difference in the sinuses. It's a dramatic difference for patients. This is permanent. Permanent. In traditional sinus surgery, the patient is under general anesthesia and normally takes five days to recover. Sinuplasty dramatically reduces recovery time, pain meds, bleeding, and infection. Patients will resume their normal activity today. Um, because there's no packing, there's no tissue removed, there's no bleeding, you don't worry about any of those side effects after surgery. In a matter of minutes, our patient is ready to go home. Great, you did awesome. You're done with all four sinuses. You're done. <laughs> Wonderful. I feel better already. This procedure is not for everyone, especially with people who have polyps or scarring in the sinuses. By the way, the cost reduction of this office visit is significant. A traditional sinus surgery with general anesthesia can cost anywhere from five to $20,000 versus sinuplasty, which is only a few thousand dollars and covered by insurance. Wow, that's amazing. You can walk into your doctor's office, have that done and then just walk right out of there. A matter of seconds, truly. Wow. I mean, mm. the anesthesia, the, uh, the local took about 30 minutes. It takes like 10 times yeah. longer than the actual procedure. Wow, unbelievable. Yeah.